And so now that we have our scale initialize function block defined, we can use it in a power up routine to initialize our two scale function blocks. So we're going to create a new power up routine. It's going to be a ladder diagram, and we're going to call it init. Short for initialize. So every time we create a new UDFB, it shows up in our instruction list under the project. Let's drag over a scale in it. All right, and we're going to create a function block instance of the scale in it, and we're going to call it function block scale in it. This one will be of scope global. We are going to hard enter some numbers for our inputs to the scale init function. Input max is going to be 100. Input min is going to be 0. Output max, this is going to be our Celsius to Fahrenheit. So 100 degrees in Celsius is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The function block scale is going to be named C to F, short for Celsius to Fahrenheit. It's going to be of type scale, and it's going to be global scoped. And now we're going to make another one. In this second scale init function block, we're going to use the same instance, uh, which we can do since this is only being run to initialize our scale function blocks. If I uncheck local variables, it will actually pull up, and I wouldn't have to type the entire name of the function block instance. The second scale function block is going to be used to convert our raw input into a voltage. We're going to name this one input to volts. The type scale and global. And then again, we're going to hard enter some numbers into this uh, initialization block. Input max is going to be the maximum value of a 12 bit integer, so 4095. Input min will be 0, so our input range for a 12 bit analog signal is 0 to 4095. The output range is going to be 0 to 5 volts, so 5 for our output maximum and 0 for our output minimum. Let's go ahead and compile, and no errors detected. So this completes the initialization power-up block. We have initialized two function block instances, C to F. We're going to use that to scale two temperatures from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and input to volts, which we will use to scale 12 bit analog input to 0 to 5 volts. The final piece of logic that we need to complete our sample project is to add some logic to the main routine. This is the piece of logic that will run continuously when the HMC is running. Block 1 has already been created by default, and it uses the ladder logic diagram editor. We're going to drag three scale function blocks into our logic. These first two are going to use the C to F instance. And the final one, we use the input to volts. Input for our first scaling function block is going to be temp1c, which will be scaled to temp1f. These are the tags that we created at the beginning of the sample project. The second scale function block is going to scale temp2c to temp2f. And our input to volts scale function block is going to scale raw input to voltage. Let's compile again. No errors. Awesome. And save. So this completes the logic section of uh, the sample project. And next up, we are going to create a screen so that we can simulate and run the project and see what's happening.